The Australians taking on the Japanese. The Australians ranked world number four. The Japanese world number six. Can the Australian girls pick themselves up after last night's disappointment? That one from Carter doesn't just drop for her. Good early signs, though. Amanda Carter wasn't the shooter last night that we expected, and uh, nice to see her having that first shot and getting the first foul. Amanda Carter's got a name on the stat sheet very early. Well, she's determined to be involved regardless of which way it is. You see here the long pass. Carter with the pushback on Yamura there. Yamura obviously had the height. Smart foul, but she got the hoop. Mashiko, high ball off to Yamura. But she couldn't drag it in, so the Australians now with the ball through Webb. O'Neill cutting through the key. Yamura manages to get a tip on it. Sails over the baseline. Australians retain possession. Webb to Tesh. O'Neill looked at it, O'Neill decided against it. Back to Carter. Liesel Tesh, plenty of support in the crowd for her this evening. She takes the shot. That one rims out, however. Carter works hard to try and keep the ball in court, but unfortunately goes over the baseline. So the Japanese now looking to put their first points on the board. And I think the Australian women would be unhappy with anything other than a win here. They want that medal. They're really looking at gold or silver and been denied that by the Americans last night, the last three seconds of the game. Still no baskets for either team. And the Australians now on the charge. Tesh had a great game last night. 22 points, 13 defensive rebounds as O'Neill gets the first two of the match. Yes, Lisa O'Neill, one of the stars last night. Peter Kaur very happy with both O'Neill and Tesh. The Japanese still to score. Donna Ritchie takes the shot. Bounces away, Yuramura with a strong rebound. Let's see if the Japanese can score some points on this occasion down the court. Uemura into Sueda, who's come on after that timeout. But still, the Japanese cannot get any points on the board. Turnover, Australia with possession. There's no doubt about it, the women's game is a different equation from the men's game. Where the scores are lower, defence is paramount, and the Aussies have got that at the moment. Just slips through Anayan's hands there, but she has regathered. Tesh now. Thought about the shot, still thinking about it, and takes it. Just a little hard off the rim, but Tesh follows up with some good defence. Telling a teammate there, Webb, not to go after it because it was going to be a green and gold ball in the end. Which it is, so Richie now from the sideline. Webb onto O'Neill. O'Neill with a lob pass into Tesh, just short. Hasn't quite got her range yet going in this match, Liesel Tesh. And the Japanese now with a long ball from Mashiko into Sueda, but still they can't convert. So the Australians again on the attack through Tesh. Webb. And the foul called. Number 14. That's Tomoe Sueda. Yes, every time the Australian women promote the ball aggressively up court, they look good. That time Tesh driving, dishing off, and Jane Webb drawing the foul. O'Neill bounce pass back to Carter. Tesh, Ritchie, Carter cutting along the baseline, Tesh, bounce to O'Neill, under 10 on the shot clock, in and out for Lisa O'Neill, quite a few shots just not dropping here this evening. The Australian women doing everything right but just not being able to nail the final hoop. Charge called there. Great defence by Donna Ritchie there. As we saw Yamura coming down, looking for that fast transition basket. Ritchie had position and drew the charge. 
Coach Mikami trying to inspire his team from the sideline. But the Australians seem to be dominating at the moment as Onayan goes all the way. Again, it was a little too hard and came off the ring. Sukamoto for the Japanese. Uemura, Tesh defending Uemura. This time it drops in for the Japanese. Their first two points of the match after nine and a half minutes of play. It's a long time to get the glad wrap off the top of the hoop there. Uemura fading back. Fortuitous bounce gets two, but the Australians reply straight away. And that's exactly what coach Peter Kaur would want to see. Matching the Japanese basket there. So Australia 10 lead Japan 2. With just over 10 minutes remaining in the first half of the bronze medal match at Gold Cup 98. Mashiko. The Australian women here thinking what could have been. But we see uh, that was Soeda going to the hoop. Japan really troubled Canada early last night. The Australians having no trouble with them. And the Aussie girls wondering what could have been if they were in the gold medal tonight. But they're playing here for bronze and a lot of Australian pride. Richie on to Tesh. Over to Carter. Off glass for Amanda Carter. Shooting well this evening. That's her sixth point. She's three from six for the field. Where was Amanda Carter last night? She's legendary for those sort of baskets in the National League. Great to see her return to form for Amanda. The Australians on the fast break through Webb. Tesh in the key, out to O'Neill. Just got enough height on that shot from O'Neill. But the Australians still with an eight point lead. Sukamoto looks at her options and teammates. Out to Mashiko. O'Neill on Mashiko. High lob ball into Uemura. Off glass from the side of the basket for Chika Uemura. Yes, Uemura scoring with surprising freedom there against Liesl Tesh. Very experienced defender, but Uemura just finding the right position at the right time. The Australians. Richie calling for O'Neill to cut. Back to Carter. Nowhere to go at the moment. Looking for an option. Lob ball out to Tesh. Tesh puts up the shot. Off glass. Seems to be a favoured way of shooting tonight, but it's working for the Australians. There's Liesl Tesh. Nice little bank shot there. Uemura. Tough basket from Uemura. Plenty of attention happening from Mosley, but she goes over the top. So Australia 18, Japan now up to eight. A difference back to 10. Romeo at the other end of the court. On to Tesh. Liesl Tesh. Plenty of support here tonight from Berkeley Vale School, where she teaches. The Australians fail to convert again. There's the Tesh support group. Harukawa. Takabayashi. Last off Mosley, so it remains with the Japanese. Sueda having quite an impact on this match for the Japanese. Good Just hands there from Adams, cause that deflection saved two points for sure. Mashiko, Uemura, Tesh with the touch this time for the Australians. Adams on the fast break will pull it up. Cross to Mosley. Well done there from Alison Mosley. She had very little time. She dragged the ball in, put the shot up quickly. Yes, good work here from Adams. Finds Mosley, and Alison Mosley is going to be a superstar by the next Paralympics, rest assured. Australia 20, Japan 8. Takabayashi. There's that infamous 12 point spread, the curse of uh, Thursday night. Let's see if the women can go to 14, 16, 18, 20 ahead tonight. Uemura doesn't want that to happen. She brings it back to 10. And she has eight points on the board to date. She's taken four shots. No, she's converted four of her seven shots from the field. But it's Alison Mosley with the ball. Onto Carter. Carter heavily defended. 
Richie did well to pull that one in. Coughlin as well did well, and it's all net for Coughlin. That's a confident start from Paula Coughlin. Her first two points of the match. Yeah, it's always nice to sub in fresh. Richie there with the assist finds Coughlin. Nice too. Carter in the way and in fact gains possession for the Australians. 20 seconds remaining on the game clock. Shot clock and the game clock matching up here. Carter with the ball, was sailing over the baseline so she threw it back over her head to try and keep it in play. But with 10 seconds remaining on the clock in the first half, the Japanese will be the ones to have the last shot at the basket. Takabayashi takes it from a long way out. Just misses Uemura for the Japanese. Even if that had dropped, it wouldn't have been counted. Referees ruling the shot went up after the halftime buzzer. And at halftime, the Australians out by 10. Australia 22, Japan 12.